this is the ensuite door, the inside of it, and if you can see, I've been spraying the panelling gold to match the interior. I did start with the gold leaf, but if you can see, I didn't do that good a job of it. It's really difficult to get in the crevices with the gold leaf because as soon as you apply it, it just clings to the outside. So I decided we'll give the spray in a go instead. And I've been masking it off as I go. There's a couple of patches of taking the paint off with the masking tape, but we'll touch those up afterwards. This is the last panel that I need to reveal. So I'm going to slowly take off the masking tape. I've just used old lining paper that I had left over from decorating the bathroom. Oh, there's a bit more paint coming off there. Not to worry. A little bit of touch up going to happen there. really difficult with one hand holding the camera so I shall take it all off and then show you the finished effect. Here we have the finished effect. You can see I missed taping that bit so I'll have to touch that up when I touch up the bits that the masking tape pulled off. There we have the panelled door in gold. I may put some stenciling on the panels themselves. Um, we'll wait and see. Yesterday we bought a paint sample to try and match up this colour on the wall. But even though it looked perfect on the paper, we'll see the test came out a lot whiter. So it's back to the drawing board again to choose another colour. Hence why all the colour charts are out. Right. Now I'm going to patch up this gold leaf. I'll probably have to sand it off first and start again. I'm not sure if you're going to see very well from there, but I'll, I'll try. Um, I've cut this stencil out and I've already taken a patch of the hallway wall where I often do my trial runs and stuck the stencil on. I've already washed behind it, as in the colour wash. And I'm just going to use the Tadalat that I used on the feature wall where the mirror is in the ensuite. I thought I'm going to try plastering this stencil to give it a, a 3D effect. Never tried this before. I'm going to give it a go. Obviously, after it's dried, I will. Um, scrape it off because I can't leave it on the wall. Not in the middle of the hallway. gently and see how it comes out. impressed with that and with these these um bits here 
that are raised, I can always sand those off very gently and touch up any bits that have leaked through the stencil. And then the plan is to give it a gold burnished effect to match it with the rest of the ensuite. So I shall scrape some of this Tadlax off the stencil and put it back in the pot because there wasn't that much left after doing the wool. Let's see how it goes. Olivier, faut aller la recentrer. Par où? Par là. And the boiler is in the cellar. Yay! It's quite a good shot from here, really, isn't it? And it's down. Smile! So this is a new tank. Obviously new to us, not brand new. And the boiler, which they came down the steps with. This is the old one that we've shown you in videos before, which is kaput. So let's get the new one in. So boiler installed. Um, we've just been around and uh, bled the uh, rats. Um, 19 of them, 19 flipping radiators. Um, that's none, and that's excluding the top floor, but we're just now priming the system. And hopefully shortly, I'll let you know, but we might have some warmth. The radiator, sorry, not the radiator, the oil tank that was in here, uh, which is useless, which we were eventually going to take out, but it turns out there was uh, a quarter of it was filled up with uh, oil. So we've siphoned it over. It looks like a, a fuel pump been popped in, um, which has probably filled a third of this up with the oil. So touch wood, we're good to go. Right, so uh, as you see, old boiler uh, out, new boiler in. Uh, this is running on oil, not the cheapest thing to be running, especially for a chateau. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but we will eventually uh, move over to the wood pellet system. A uh, lot more economical to run. Uh, the only thing is the outlay is a lot of money, but uh, over time it will pay for itself. Um, so per one and a half thousand litre tank in here to run this. Um, I think Carol and I probably only had about five radiators, so we thought we'd just run a little bit last night, but I made a mark. So in 24 hours, I'm not gonna do the maths, so I'm trying to calculate it, but you can see it's drunk that already. So I reckon that if you run the radiators, we probably get a month out of a tank of oil in this place. Uh, and at um, a one and a half thousand litre tank, and if I told you it's a euro for one litre of oil, I'm sure your maths will work out. It's not a cheap thing to run, hence why we will have to go over to uh, the wood pellet system. But this will see us through the winter. Uh, maybe we can save some money up. Um, but all primed, all running, radiators, only one I need to sort out, but other than that, they all seem good. Uh, luckily, uh, all the original pipe work I can use, uh, insulation, oh, it's looking a bit tatty, but it is actually properly working um, because I can see at the end, the uh, radiators are lovely and warm. Anyhow, um, as there's only Carol and I in here, uh, so we have 19 radiators, but maximum, we're probably gonna run four, maybe five, till uh, the family are over at Christmas. And then I'm probably gonna to have to put another tank of oil in, especially uh, Beth and her showers. Thought I'd just show you uh, the radiators we have around the chateau. Uh, as mentioned, we have on two floors, 19 radiators. And um, these are, I don't know, I'm gonna be approximately, they're four foot by three foot, uh, or uh, in English, 120 by 90 centimeters roughly. But, um, they do give off a lot of heat. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Um, in fact, you can't touch it. That's how hot they get. Uh, even though I've turned uh, the temperature down on the boiler just so we don't use as much oil. At the moment, just because of the consumption, we're just running the rooms 
that we use. So bedroom, kitchen, and then uh, if we're working in one of the other rooms, we might turn it on. At the moment, the temperatures are really dropped. I think we have got tomorrow minus three at night. Um, but the problem is once you lose the heat, the nice summer or maybe autumn as well, heat that's in the granite of the chateau, once that goes, it then just becomes cold granite. So the place actually never gets warm. So sometimes when the sun comes out, it's actually warmer outside than actually within the chateau. Um, but there you go. That's just one of the disadvantages of not having a, a, a new home with all the insulation that comes with it. Well, it's dinner time, so let's go and find my cowlies. Uh, oh, you are still working. Ah, what are you doing? Hi. I just wanted to get this panel in finished. I wanted to prove to you that it would look really nice having the same colour on the walls as the panel in. Proofs in the pudding. Yeah, you're not getting any pudding tonight, by the way. It doesn't look like I'm getting any dinner tonight if you're going to be painting. I've got like five minutes to go. Ah, uh, okay. So what do you think of the colour? Uh, well, if it wasn't the fact that it's so dark at the moment, I can't really see, but um, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'd rather see when we've got daylight on it. But yeah, this is true. I can't see any difference between the wall and the panelling. You're funny, aren't you? <laughs> they look the same to me. Look, I've done really well with this light this week, mm. and I've been working my socks off getting this done. Uh, okay, well done. Right, well, I've, I've finished downstairs um, the um, spraying of the timbers. So uh, it's uh, Grand Prix time! Don't leave that crap. <laughs> You've been sat on your backside watching that for the last hour and a half. Yeah, and you've interrupted me. <laughs> right, so, uh, okay, I'll leave it with you and then we can show later on uh, exactly what you're doing in here in another bedroom. In Rebecca's room, I've made a bit of a mess. Um, I've had to move the furniture over this side, but you can see the blue that I've used on the wall. Um, so Rebecca's already moaning about this bed. It's one we already had in the, one of the other houses. Um, it's only a double, so she's not happy. But we'll see if we can find a bigger one, a French-style one, before she arrives. But it's probably not likely. This is the blue here. That I've done the same with the walls as the panelling. Uh, this wardrobe will be removed and I was so cold the other day that I decided to get the steamer out and get up the ladder again so I've done in the alcove now in here they would usually have a single bed which goes widthways and the curtain above to hide them off but we're going to put a four foot bed in here for Zachary um, so in this bedroom, temporarily, there will be a four-foot bed and a double bed. So between the three of them, they've got plenty of space. But as I come around here, I'm still not sure about doing this wall before Christmas. Because as I started peeling it off, you can see all the plaster is blown and it's falling off. Now, I'm no plasterer. I'll have to investigate further to just to see if it's just patches or not. If it's patches, I can do it. If it's a whole wall, we'll have to call somebody in. But it's made a bit of a mess on the floor already. So thank you everyone for watching this week's video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think of the gold panelling on the door and also the plastering effect that my mum did. I think it looks really good and she seems to be quite happy with it as well. But let us know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and we will see you on Wednesday.